when I when I used to work in the industry, I was on a safety committee, and I felt that I didn't do enough, <clears throat> and my friend was uh, fatally injured. So I said, well, I'm not gonna allow another friend to be harmed. My name is Eddie Demko. My job is a field safety officer. Out here today, we uh, had a critical lift setting up crane operations, trying to prepare to, uh, to lift the material from the ravine and place it in secured bags and ready to be hauled off to the landfill. It became a critical lift operation because the crane operator does not have sight on the, the, the material as he's hauling it, so he has to depend on a spotter to spot for him. And the fact that we were setting up a 85-ton crane on the side of a uh, ravine with uh, potential for uh, cave-in or collapsing, it took a lot of safety planning and a lot of precautions to ensure we could do it safely. The uh, contractor that uh, is doing the work for us, they have to present a, a plan to me as the safety officer. And I go through all the, the safety requirements for crane operations, and then I meet with the crane operator and, and their safety team to ensure that we cover all the bases to, to make sure that everyone knows the plan, follows the plan, and we can do it safely. We don't want anything that we're doing for the Army Corps of Engineers to cause harm to anybody else in the process. So we spend a lot of time looking at all situations to ensure that, that we get them back home to their families because we're all away from my families to try to help this community get back to some meaning of recovery. And we don't want anybody to be harmed in that process. And so I take a lot of pride in getting to know people and I feel the best way for me to be effective as a, a safety professional is to let them know that I do care. And the only way to do that is to be approachable and, and listen.